welcome back to trying with the worldies if this is your first time don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're a returning subscribers what it do So we're going to do a new thing called Future Friday where um, we're going to be having people from different walks of life and today we're going to have my cousin Charles McLeod where he's an independent contractor. So I'm going to be asking him several questions about it. So come along with us you guys. Okay. So my first question is how did you decide to get into this career? Well when I decided to do the truck career it's because I was working my job five days a week, 12 hours, sometimes six hours. I used to be a general, excuse me, assistant manager at a travel stop. And I did it for about two years. So that's when I realized like, I wanted something different. I wanted to be able to travel. I wanted to make more money. And I wanted to be able to where, if I decide to make any changes or move, I'm able to have employment. So one day a truck driver came in from Prime, said, hey, come to Prime. Another one came from Swill. So I'm looking like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get my CDL because don't matter what with my Class A CDL, I'm always going to be employable because Alabama wasn't my stopping stone. I wanted to try and live in other different states. And that's what helped push me to do it. Then with the support of my other co-workers and stuff, with getting my permit, then also supporting my family and stuff, like I can do it and just give it a try. Why not? Because currently I have my bachelor's degree in recreation administration and I was pursuing my master's in special education and I love teaching. Mm -hmm. But with driving trucks, it was just something about the adventure that gave me the edge. Oh, wow. Okay. So just give me one moment. Okay, so was this your first choice? No, it wasn't my first choice. Because when I was sitting there at Love's, I was like, okay, I want to be a district manager. Or did I want to work as a director of marketing? And that's when I realized how to be honest with myself. Like, where is my skill level? What's going to make me happy? Because a career is one of the things where you just got to be happy with. You just can't sit there and say, oh, this is I'm just going to do this. Mm -hmm. That's just a regular job like what I had at that moment. But when I saw how the truck drivers was coming in, having different stories, laughing and talking, I said, you know what? I'm going to push myself to another ne level and try something new. Because at the end of the day, it's going to provide a very well lifestyle for myself. Yes. So um, that was a great career choice for you. Yes. So how long have you been in this career? I've been in the industry for six and a half years. I started off with going to SWIFT with their training program and I did my best but it was just that wasn't for me mm -hmm. and I did that in a cold winter and I was like freezing cold I was shivering <laughs> I was out there doing that bad snowstorm back in 2015 mm -hmm. then I'm gonna be honest I didn't pass the first try I was so nervous oh, and scared yeah. and believe in myself oh yeah. yeah then I went to Prime Inc after that and that's where I found my home because it was one-on-one -on -one training where it was just like every time when I do something you learn something it was just one person it wasn't a group setting so I fi figured out what type of learning style was best for me mm -hmm. and I've been prime since then oh wow okay so my fourth question is going to be can you give someone that's watching some advice about your career of course so I've been training for three years and like I said again driving for six the most advice I just tell you just understand what you're getting yourself into there are going there's the good and the bad yes the money good you can buy the fancy cars mm -hmm. your income is what you make it if you decide you only want to make bare minimum thirty forty thousand dollars that's on you mm -hmm. but if you want to make eighty ninety a hundred thousand or better the potential out there because mm -hmm. you cannot have trains getting to every customer you don't have a plane access you have to have a tractor trailer to get the goods to the customer. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing to remember. So that's the good and the bad part. Yes, you'll be away from your family for a little while. Mm -hmm. You'll be working 12 hour days sometimes. You have to drive in different inclement weather, different terrain and everything. So you have to have that mindset of 
I'm out here in knowing the purpose. Your mindset is, I'm here for a purpose. If you don't know the reason why you're out there, you're not going to last out here. Mm -hmm. You're going to get homesick or feel like this is just not for you or be discouraged. Because it's more to it than just driving the truck. It's mm -hmm. more to it than just say, oh, I'm going to go on a free ride. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! No, you have to mentally be ready. You have to mentally just sit down and stare at the same trees and grass and scenery. Yes, the first couple of times you go down and do it, it's going to look pretty exciting. It's like, oh my gosh, something new. But the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth time, it's going to be the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you have to mentally be prepared. Mm -hmm. Truck driving is a mental game more than physical. And that's what a lot of people get in this industry and don't realize. Mentally, you have to be strong. Mm -hmm. Because you, you never know if a snowstorm come out the mm -hmm. middle. You can't just freak out like, oh my gosh, and slam on brakes. No, yes. you have to understand, like, let me just slow down. Mm -hmm. Let me just make sure I'm driving. And then when it's raining hard, if the wind pushing you, or oh, when do you need to shut down? Mm -hmm. You have to take that. You, that's something that you're not going to be able to, to learn all in one year or during training. Mm -hmm. Because training is not all year round. Yes. It's only for a couple of months or a couple of weeks. It's all about what company you choose. Mm -hmm. So look at the whole bigger picture. It's more to it than just money. Mm -hmm. It provides you stability and you never ever can say that you're unemployable. As long as you do the right things to keep your license good. But remember that it does cause you to have distance from your family. Yes. That's why like you see here I enjoy the time being able to feature on trying it with the worldlies, being mm -hmm. part of the worldly squad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish I could be here more to be supportive, but yes. at least this time I'm here. Yes. Exactly. Sometimes you have to decide, like I might miss this wedding, I might miss this funeral, mm -hmm. because you still have bills to pay, because this yes. is still your job, mm -hmm. your career that providing your lifestyle. You have to be aware of all of that. Yes. And a lot of people get out here and don't. And that's the best thing I can tell somebody. Look at the good and the bad. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is very well. It provides me a nice lifestyle. I'm able to help my friends and family as well, most importantly myself. Mm -hmm. But the bad thing about it, I have to pick and choose the moments to be here. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that hurts. Yes. Okay, so what kind of training do you have to have this career? Pretty much you make sure that you have less than three moving violations before you apply to any trucking company. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your felony is five years or older. That means after your conviction date. Then having the mental and the drive to do it. Because mm -hmm. it's not just a local position always for training. Yes, there are some like Coca-Cola and Pepsi. You can start there and stay local, but majority of ones are over the road. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of the training you have to have is mentally is knowing that I can do this. You have to mentally train your mind. Then also, other than having a clean, a pretty decent um, driving record, that's pretty much it. You come in, you go start off at a training company, and they train because truck driving is nothing that you are born to do. Mm -hmm. It's a skill. It's a trade mm -hmm. that you have to learn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, my last and final question. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? For me, myself is gonna be working for a company making between eighty, making eighty thousand dollars a year or better. Okay. Coming home five days a week mm -hmm. and actually spending more time with my family and be able to take vacation and say, "Hey, I can literally take a real PTO day." Yes. And say it's okay not to come in. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. But a lot of other truck drivers start on their own truck, on their own business. But that's one sector of it. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's about personal happiness. My happiness is knowing that I can clock in, somebody mm -hmm. clock, the truck break down, and anything happen, here you can have it. But if yes. that's not going to work out, I still have the dollars and the ability to get my own yes. and be my own boss mm -hmm. and do everything I want and, and take on the extra responsibility that I just don't feel like I want to do later on. Yes. Because I just want to have a relaxed <laughs> life and be like, I'm off my two days, deuces, <laughs> and come back, you know. But sometimes... Yes. You can't do it. You have to pick and choose and do your research. Research, research. So, 10 year goal for me again mm -hmm. is to be able to enjoy my family more. And do I want to own a home? Sure. If not, I'm fine with renting because I can travel and get up because it's just me. Nice. I can do anything I choose to do because it's always a trucking company around mm -hmm. and I make the money to do what I need to do for Charles. Wow. Love yeah. it. Um, so we'd like to thank you for doing this interview with us. Thank you so um, much as well. Yes, and you did such a great job. Um, and you guys, don't forget to like, 
comment, comment and, and subscribe. subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Deuces. Peace.